Hey guys, it was yet another pool party in Big Brother's house and trust the housemate to bring it on. So I thought to share with you guys some super cool moments at the party. My name is Chicks JF and you're welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe guys. Subscribe, little red button, bottom right. And if you're my oldie, please say hello. Give me a thumbs up in the comment section. So yeah, guys, let's get into the real deal as usual. The music was good, super lit. I enjoyed it. And you know, this is the first time that Omashola, Lucy, um, Prince, and Kim Opera will be partying with them. So it was a super cool dynamic. I noticed Lucy and her whatever skirt she wore over this her swimsuit first. I saw that she was quite reluctant to take it off. But eventually, when she saw people like Angel very comfortable with their bodies and having fun, she decided to join the bandwagon. Hmm. Also, Lucy was seen very close to Perry half the time, guys. Um, I know that they're friends. Somebody has said that he had a party outside. I think it was Cross and said that Lucy uh, and Perry brought Lucy. So we know that they're friends. But guys, the way they were talking, it seemed like they had a lot to say. At some point, Lucy even removed Ferris top to expose his nipple. I'm like, yeah, this type of play, we don't get it, but we are watching you. Eyes on Lucy and Perry. So, Creeper Peter Shea was also saying, I'm um, just chilling. He's been taking it really easy because he's just recovering from the shocker that Big Brother gave him when he exposed the things he said the other night about running trains. He's been pretty moody. And today was the first time that he seemed to kind of like be getting over the entire thing. So, he was just vibing really easy, chilling. And with his colleague, fellow married man, Fraud, Fraud seemed to actually be having a good time. He was in the pool, sitting on the floaters, chilling. Like, he was just really taking it e easy and having, like, a good time. Summer dinner I was the super mixologist today. They did a punch. I think they decided to put all the liquor in one big bowl and do a mix. And I think it actually made the alcohol go round. And I think that that was Summer's job for the day. He was just basically getting people drunk and pouring out alcohol for the housemates and i think he did a good job at that um at some point he still went to go and meet the love of his life angel is it even a party if angel and somebody they don't kiss so they did their regular kissing their usual fl frolicking every now and then yeah so that was it with summer can we talk about angel guys Angel had a blast. The way she was dancing, and I say now, wow. She was like really having. It, it just felt like Angel was in a nice club and just having fun. She didn't care about anyone, and I like how comfortable she is with her body. She was just dancing like without a care in the world. Um, at the end of the party, Soma literally had to beg her to come out of the pool because she had fun. If there's one housemate that knows how to party this season, Angel. Angel is number one. On that list, apart from Cross, of course, for the guys, but for the ladies, I think Angel is topping it, or even Alex. Alex did her thing as well today, but nobody, nobody won Angel. Angel is the winner of the party. New housemate Prince was always also seen backing it up with the girls. That's him with Mercy. This is him with Ilebaye. He also had his moments with Angel. And of course, this is him with Tolani. So we're just dancing behind all the girls, and I guess that's his thing all the girls seem to have fun it was a super super cool party um this is ek i like to call them his wives that's doing and Cece. they are always always together am i the only one that notices a weird dynamic between ek and cc guys they are always together of course apart from the doing beats and or tolani badge those are his three friends that are always with him but cc there's something special going on the other day he said that his cc came to sleep on his bed and he felt warm and i just find that she's always with him this time she's putting his hand on his thighs but it doesn't seem like ik is like very is leaning towards her maybe for his respect to mercy or maybe is it a sleep sibling ship or it's just me but yeah there's something there there's something i am seeing between these two people they're always either harassing each other always working together always like they're in and out of each other's business so eyes on you too Messi and Nikki, C E K. We are watching. Beautiful Kim Opera did her thing with her lovely swimsuit with the gigantic bow. 
this girl is a gorgeous girl like she just does her thing i like the way she carries herself with grace but she partied hard today too she was having fun super comfortable she had her moments with different housemates this is her with neil she had her dancing moments with cross with Perez. she seemed quite comfortable with all the housemates you can't really see she was hanging out with one person more which i really like she just blended in the house she's having fun with the boys with the girls and I actually really do like this housemate. She's just easy on the eyes. I love to see her. We love to watch her. Let's see how she unravels. I'm talking of Neo. He seemed to have had a lot of fun in this party. He was quite free dancing with others, I think, because um previously he had won Tolani about the whole, whole harassing people dancing with him and he kind of broke up with her. But obviously she begged to come back that he shouldn't break up yet. So I think she's better behaved because he spent a lot of time. He danced with Kim. He danced with Baye even. Like he was really free in this party. I saw him with Alex. He had a lot of fun. And him and Tolani, they were not together the better part of it, of the of the party. But later on, they linked up and they had their moment. But I see that maybe there's like some sort of unspoken communication that leave me, let me live my life, which is how it should be. Just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean you should be stuck together to each other's hips. Anyway, talking of being stuck, Venita was with her lover too. They had fun. Yeah, but I also saw her dancing with a couple other people. Not a lot. Maybe Prince. Um, she, I saw her hanging with Ike for a little bit. She seemed to mix a bit, but Dekunle is just in his little bubble. And I don't understand what the guy has become in this relationship. But that's it. Um, other than that, White Money. White Money was on kitchen duties as always. Kid, the super barbecue man, is no longer in the house. And White Money happily took over. So, as usual, he was coordinating the grills and the chicken for the rest of the housemates. He moved around a little bit, but he was mostly down for kitchen duties and drinking his beer because they all actually drank a lot. And I can already see that people are just trying to tread carefully so that there is no gas boost. Hopefully, there shouldn't be. So that's it about the party. It was a decent party. Nobody went overboard. Just good vibes. Everybody dancing. Cool people. Same, same. Nothing really extraordinary happened. But as usual, I thought to just gist you guys about the party. I'm really tired. I'm really sleepy. But I am here because I must give you gist. You know how I do. Anyways, please give me a thumbs up. You can see that I'm working very hard for you guys. And kindly subscribe to my channel. Little red button. Bottom right. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.